What is going on guys? Welcome to Mikey Balls Fishing. Dude, one of the hottest things on YouTube and in fishing right now is this guy, the Inure Rig. It's this crazy Japanese way to rig up a worm that looks super realistic in the water and has a totally unique action. So I want to show you how to rig it up so that you can try the new Inure Rig. So hit that like and subscribe button and let's get to it. So what do you need to set up an Inure Rig? You need a couple things. You need a split ring. You need a small circle hook, just like that. A coffee straw and a straight tail worm. The first step with setting up an ear rig is to look at how the worm folds when you make an S with it. So basically kind of line it up just like that to get an idea. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your coffee straw and find maybe about an inch down the worm and you're actually gonna just punch that coffee straw on through. You can use kind of like a twisting motion and you see how it pops right through just like that. Pull that little bit of plastic out and then what you're gonna do is make your S. So you're gonna make your S right there pop it on through and there you have a U and now we're gonna finish it off with our final S by folding the tail of the worm down and once again passing it through the straw basically it kind of reminds me a little bit of a shish kebab like when it gets done it looks exactly like a shish kebab you want to make sure you pop that that extra soft plastic out of your your tubing right there and then I'm gonna spread it out just a little bit and basically you want to get that that S look to it I'm gonna grab my small scissors and I'm going to make a clip. I know some guys have put super glue on there. I'm trying to do a simple quick version that you do on the water. So I'm not going to bother with the super glue. And I'm just going to cut along the worm in each of the tubes where we passed it through the worm. So basically you can see the tube kind of sticking out of there. I'm going to cut it on each side until I reach the tail. And I'm going to cut each side off, almost like cutting your tag line when you're fishing. And I'm going to have three little tubes through my worm, all maybe like two to three inches apart or so. Once you have your worm all set up with the three holes punched through with your coffee straw, now is when we're actually going to add our hook as well as our split ring right there. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your worm and... I like to do the hook into the worm before I pass the line through it. And what you want to do is basically hook the worm right behind that first hole that you put into it and pop it out. You're just using a small circle hook and you want to line up the eye of the hook just right there with that first hole that you placed in the worm using the coffee straw. And at that point, you're ready to go ahead and pass your line through. I'd recommend not fishing this thing on braid. Braid seems to kind of get stuck on this guy and doesn't allow it to have the good action. So then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my fluorocarbon line and I'm going to pass it through the hook and then I'm going to pass it through that first hole right there just like that and draw it on through and then I'm gonna find my second hole by folding it over and I'm basically trying to mimic that that S shape that we had um, when we we're actually putting the tubing in I'm gonna pass my line through there it reminds me a lot of a pre-rigged worm to an extent and then you do the same thing flip over the worm find that last third hole and pass your fluorocarbon line right through there just like that so I have a worm all on the fluorocarbon but the problem that I have is my tag end has nothing to stop it from just sliding right off and that's where the split ring comes in I'm simply gonna take that that small split ring and tie just an overhand knot just like you do to you tie up your shoe or just about whatever tie that thing on there just like so and this is gonna be the stopper for the back of the the back of the worm so that you get that unique action that unique kicking action and there you go that's a fully set up deal see how it slides so easily down that line and that that little split ring is basically the stopper that's stopping it from sliding off you have your hook right there like i said it reminds me very much of a pre-rig worm but let's go ahead and let's try to i'll put this thing in the water and take a look at it So you can see the Inurig on our water and it has a weird kind of tail kicking action. It's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, my overall like opinion and perspective on it is it's sort of clunky. 
I would venture to maybe use the word stupid, but not totally because I can see some uses for it. Definitely like when you're talking about bed fish that are super weird on the bed and you're looking for something that's moving, but not moving very quickly. The real shortcomings that I see with it is one, the rigging is kind of clunky. Once you hook one or two fish, that thing's gonna tear up and you're gonna have to sit there, rig it up, it takes like four or five minutes and you need to rig it up perfectly. The other thing too, is it fishes very slow. You guys know I'm all about efficiency. It's not the most efficient thing in the world to fish. Fish. It also spins your line up quite a bit, but I will say all this with a caveat. If you're fishing bed fish, or if you're fishing maybe Dalton kind of mentioned, I'm hanging out with my boy Dalton, d dangling with Dizzy, but he mentioned like if you're in the back of a creek and you're seeing some cruising fish, basically visual fish that are cruising kind of the bank and you're looking for a finesse, weird way to kind of present a lure to them, that definitely would be some like off, I don't know, off the off the earth kind of out of the box way to do it. But it has an interesting action to it. It's kind of weird to, to, to rig up, but it's definitely something cool to give a try to. So check out the new rig, try to rig one up. Let me know what your thoughts are. Drop them down in the comments box below. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Everybody say hi to Bog. Bog Unicorn, do you like the new rig? If it catches fish, Bog likes it. Tight lines guys, we'll see you back out on the water.